Hi, and welcome to part three of the Siesta webcast series. Today we're going to look at automation and see how we can run our tests off the command line instead of having to open them manually in the browser each time. For us at Brintum, this is very important since it allows us to save a lot of time and simply work a lot more efficient. And uh, we have two options with Siesta uh, to automate it. And the first one is Selenium, which is an open source tool, very widely known in the community. And the second one is PhantomJS, which is made by one of the guys at Sencha, uh, Arya Hiliat. And uh, this is a great tool. It's essentially a headless WebKit implementation. And uh, it, it just works. It's great. Uh, I can highly recommend that you check it out. It's available at phantomjs.org. So let's first look at the output we get from running the full X scheduler test suite on the command line. So it will look something like this. And phantom here is just a bat file which runs the command that you see here. So it's, it's basically just uh, telling phantom.js to go to a certain web address, which would be localhost at port 8085, and uh, a folder containing our test harness HTML file. So here you see uh, phantom.js spitting out uh, things on the command line right away. Uh, and hopefully in a while, this prompt will just say all tests passed and all will be good. So while that is working, uh, let's see how we can use uh, and call Siesta from inside of our IDE. So let's look at the Visual Studio setup that I'm using. On the right hand side you can see a folder called my test which has one test file in it and the contents of that file is seen here and the test doesn't really do much right now so before we move on let's actually make this test fail like that. Uh, and now to execute this test and see what it's doing it would be really great if we could stay inside of our development environment. And to do that in Visual Studio, since we can now use PhantomJS, we can just create a, an external tool which calls the bat file that I, I previously showed you to run the X scheduler test suite. So as you can see, I pass it two arguments, one for the URL to the my test folder, and one to be able to filter out only the test that I'm working on right now. Because it would simply take too much time if I, if I had to execute my entire test suite uh, every time I wanted to run a, simple, uh, a single test. So this is very useful to, to only run the, the current file that we're working on. Uh, and I've also set up this external tool mapped to my favorite key command. So now I can press my key command to see what's going on inside this test. And you can see the output here. It's failing. Not very surprising. So now let's actually create a simple test, uh, which creates a div on the page and then clicks it. And on the click, it should update its contents to something else. So let's just say we have a div uh, and we should match the content of this div to find the text bar. And we can then output a, f a text saying correct text found in my div. That's the goal. So let's see. Let's first create the div on the page. ext get body create child something like this. So looking like this the test should fail if I'm correct. So we can see here that the assertion failed. It got foo, but need string containing bar. So now let's actually make a listener on the on the div. Div on click function. Sorry if I'm typing sloppy. Uh, div dot update uh, bar. Not bra. Like this. And then, of course, we should click it to see if this test actually works. Uh, T.click div, something like this, rerun the test. And you can see that it passes. So and now we can also add uh, an assertion before the test starts to make sure that the test is in a sane state before it actually starts at all. So 
let's add a content like before before click and rerun it again hoping yeah there you go it works so as the final step we can also uh, try this in the browser to see that it's doing what we think it's doing so let's reload our siesta page here and we can make sure that the view dom is checked and we run the test and you can see the click now the the text update happens so fast that you can't really see it but you can see here in the assertion grid the events that took place so here's the first assertion making sure that the correct text is found before the test starts and then the click happens and then after the click has happened the text should have been updated to bar and we can see that it, it does so that's a quick intro to automation using siesta i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching bye